Dr. Scotch here is one of our first residents. He was on the farm before we even had a farm. He actually lived on rented land that we had when we were deciding that homesteading was for us. Um, he's had a few close calls and he actually came to our house once with poisoning, but he made it through. Right next to him you can see Winter, the sister, uh, also uh, came at the same time as Butterscotch. Um, another one of the more original residents. So uh, they've had quite the adventure with us. And uh, there's nothing quite like the first few. Um, they'll have a special place always. And uh, this is uh, the cashmere that made us know that cashmere goats were for us. Because if you're going to talk about getting into fiber, what better fiber is there than cashmere? So all of our goats are cashmere. Uh, we did have pygmies, but they weren't for us, uh, for personality-wise more than anything. But as you can see, these beauties have cashmere like you wouldn't believe. Um, and if you ever get to visit here, which I encourage you to do, um, when you touch this, there's nothing quite like it. Um, when you touch a sheep, they, they're, um, what's, what am I trying to say here? It's abnormally rough. When you look at a sheep, they look like they're going to be a lot softer than they are. This is as soft as it looks. It's unbelievable. It's like the down in a, a pillow. It's, it's wonderful. Um, it doesn't get sheared like a sheep. It actually gets combed out. And, uh... I have seen horror stories about how uh, animals can be combed in a way that hurts them. That is not how it happens here. Uh, the whole point is for them to live their best life, and they certainly do. Uh, we actually aren't really in the process of harvesting right now. Um, we're just having all our animals live the way they live uh, a good life. So, But when we do, we will get around to it, but it will be combed out in a very gentle way. Uh, we actually use a furminator, the same furminator we would use on our dog or cat. So... It's as painless as can be, and uh, they actually like it as massaging. Well, as you can see, this is exactly what it feels like. And uh, Butterscotch couldn't get enough of it. But he is the most amazing creature. Butterscotch, I call him the king. He's our number one. <laughs>